Hey y'all, normally I do video tutorials on WordPress Wednesday, but today I'm gonna just go ahead and release this one because we had a really great question pop in on our thread of all of our different videos that we've done for the Revolution Slider. Chris Townsend gave us a quick comment and a quick question asking would we be able to do a, a video tutorial on how to make a CTA or a call to action button inside of the rev slider and I want to do that now if you're not a part of being subscribed to our channel we do release a video every single Wednesday and we call it WordPress Wednesday where we're giving y'all quick tips and tutorials on how to do awesome things inside of your WordPress website so here's the link right here go ahead and click subscribe so that you're sure to not miss out on any of those great videos all right Let's get started really quickly. I'm going to show you how to make a CTA or a call to action button inside of the rev slider. All right. Now, if, if you're familiar at all with the rev slider, you know that it already has some default stuff going on, right? So I'm going to slide off this. Or actually, let's just zip down here for a second. So I'm going to go into a test slideshow that I've already made. And if you go in here, if you're not familiar with any of this, by the way, any of these options here, I have done another video tutorial that will walk you through kind of what these settings are. I'll put the link in the description box below for you. So if you're just starting out with the Rev Slider, that's how uh, those videos will help you really be a little bit more advanced and do some of the cool stuff that you saw inside of the demo that you keep wondering, well, how do you do that? So I'm going to go into Edit Slides. You're just watching me kind of walk through to get to my individual slide that I want to make the Call to Action button on. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to use the concept of working on a massage um, package deal for one of our clients, right? They run a, a day spa and we want to basically throw in a picture and have, um, have a call to action button for view our massage specials, all right? Let's just say that for an example. So I'm going to slide off screen so you can just focus right here. So what I've already done is I've just added an image uh, layer right here to the right side, okay? And what I've done also is I've put in a color behind here so if you actually want to see what the slideshow really looks like at this moment there's this nice green kind of lime green color behind there matching some of the uh, colors inside of the image here and what I want to do is right here on this left side of the screen put in a CTA or a call to action button that says check out our massage packages so out of the gate rev slider allows you to do an insert button so we're gonna say add layer alright and we're just gonna say insert button so we could say green here if we wanted to. We can remove this extra bit of text here, get that out. And so now we just have our great green button here, okay? And we can change it from saying green button to um, check out our massage packages, all right? So now it says check out our massage, pa massage packages, all right? So I'm gonna preview this really quickly and let you see what that looks like on this green. So it's definitely kind of obviously awkward. It really doesn't match the kind of flat uh, imagery that we have already going on. So what if you don't want this green color and maybe you want the font to be a little larger and, and it's a little difficult to read. Um, so how do we do that? That's, if I'm understanding Chris correctly, that's what he's asked us to teach you today. So that's what I'm gonna walk you through. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, walk in here well let, let's see what we're doing here so this right here says that it's a class already right it's a TP button green small okay I really don't like the look of that at all I'm actually gonna completely remove this I, I want you to see though the nerd code around it in case you're not familiar enough with nerd code this uh, angle bracket open here with the letter a means anchor and then this href means hypertext reference and then this little pound sign is actually sitting in there as a temporary placeholder for the link that you want when somebody clicks on this button what page do you want them to go to that's what you would replace that little pound sign with and then it says the class and that class is the nerd code that tells it be green be only this big have the font be white that's what it gives it all that and then of course your verbiage that you have inside of here what you want visible on the actual a button itself and then this end tag here actually closes the link or tells the browser all right that's the end of the button okay so that gives you a quick overview of what this nerd code is because you're gonna have to write a little bit of this yourself um, for now I'm gonna go ahead and just take all that out I took out the class area right there and then what I want to do is I want to go down through here and see if I like any of these pre settings and and you know how big do I want my button to be I can just play around with all these different options here and I, I do want it to kind of be pretty large so maybe we run down here ah that's pretty big very big 
How big? Oh, that's huge. That's ginorma. That's probably too big. So we're just going to play around with these different items here uh, and see if we like. Ah, that's, that's not bad. All right. Uh, it's still pretty big, but we can play around with that. Maybe let's go down to medium, just see what a medium would do for us really quickly here. What I'm looking for is a bit of text with a background color behind it to almost make it look like a button. And we can manipulate whatever... Um, all right, cool. We can manipulate whatever's sitting here in the style pretty darn easily. So that's the way I'm going to do that. Now we can come here and edit the style, okay? Now it's saying what font we're using. That's telling us what font. And this is telling me how large of the font I want. I, I like that. This is telling me what line height. I'm going to actually increase it to about a 45. This is telling me how bold I want it to be. That's what weight means. You know, how thick do we want those letters to be? I'm going to jump it up to about a 500. Um, this is the color of the actual text that you want it to be. But I want you to note that this shows black and in here shows this orange and kind of when you hover over it, this gold or yellow color. That's because it's an actual link. So it's pulling a totally different style application to this because it's a link. All right. I'll show you how to overwrite that. So our color is black, that's fine because we're actually going to override it. This padding here, um, you have four fields and this actually stands for top, right, bottom, left. So 15, top, right, bottom, left. So 5, 15, 10, 15. So I'm actually going to set these pretty even. I'm going to do 20 all the way around. And that just means put 20 padding or pixels all the way around this button and make it nice and obvious that it's it's something clickable. So this is our background color here that we want to change. And I do want this to be very, very obvious, but I don't want it to be so obvious it's painful to look at. So let's go here really quickly. I'm going to drag around to the blue area. And let's go in with this nice deep blue. How about that? I kind of like that. And then it's giving you a border. I really don't need a border. I'm just going to change it to white right now. If you wanted a border, you can actually, uh, you know, go in here and put how many pixel widths you want. And you'd have to set it to being solid. And then you'd start to see um, a border happen around this, right? I don't really want a border. We're fine. All right. So now my button's going to look like this. I'm still not 100% pleased with it, but it's better than where we've been. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. Remember, I've showed you this before. If you want to save this as medium white background, you can. But truthfully, it's no longer a medium white background, right? It's got this blue button. So we probably need to do a Save As and give it a different name uh, that will be a little bit more aware of what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to say Button Medium Blue, right? That'll give me an idea of what I've just done. So save as new. So now I know that it's button medium blue and it's overwritten it here. So I can use this option again in, in my slideshow and it's sitting here. I want you to see this really quickly and realize that it does not look good. Hold on. I'm going to let you see how huge it is. I'm going to preview it. All right, check out our massage packages. I do like this background color blue. That's kind of nice. But again, this obviously runs into my image here and even the CTA of checkout is not the best. So what if we say click here for massage specials. How about that? And I'm going to show you how to break this. Watch this. Massage specials. Let's click out of that for a second and let it regroup. All right. I think I want this to be two lines and stacked. If you wanted it to be a smaller font, that's the easiest thing to do is come in here to edit the file and shrink down the font size, right? That's simple to do. But that's not what I want to do. I'm going to keep this actually around 32 and just click save. We're fine. We're fine. All right. So um, I want to actually break this into two lines. So you put a little bit of nerd code in here. Check this out. There you go. That broke it. That's kind of cool. All right. So and I'm going to go ahead and cap this because that's going to bother me. Check it. Click here for massage specials. All right. Now all I'd have to do is throw the link in here. Uh, whatever I wanted that to be, right? And you can go get that from the front side of your website. But for now, there you go. And I have it go back to my website, but you can have it go to any page you want to and just paste that link right in there. Then we can go ahead and click uh, save and we can preview it. And now we'll see that our button sits over here. Well, I want it a little bit more centered. And again, I still don't like that orange font going on. How do we overwrite that? This is the trickiest part and you got to get a little bold with me and, and don't be too afraid of nerd code. So here we go. 
I'm going to go into edit global style. Now, what I want you to see is this TP dash caption A stands for TP caption A or link. All right, anchor link. This is our orange color that's sitting up there. I'm going to overwrite that with a white and that's just six F one, two, three, four, five, six. Or if you know that it's all the same six, you can always just go ahead and put just three of them. And then when I over, uh, when I hover over, I actually want um, the color to stay. Let, let's actually make the color uh, a little bit more bold. Let's take it to black. One, two, three. Oops, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and now we're going to click Save and OK to change the global styles. I'm going to save what we're doing and let's see what it looks like. Now it's white. Now when I hover over it, it goes to black. So I've basically made my own CTA button. I've, I've, I can change the font if I want to to be something a little bit more pretty or that looks like all my different fonts inside my website. And it obviously changes colors whenever I hover over it. Brilliant. That's one of the easiest ways to make a CTA button. I hope that helps. If you have any questions about this tutorial, go ahead and put them in the description box below. I'll do my best to either make another tutorial or answer your questions. Have a great one. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to check out more WordPress Wednesdays. Bye-bye, y'all.